All right. Well, hey, my name is Brick Lamro, and this is lesson one of the Python basics training. You can find it up here on GitHub. It's under my username, Brig LX Python Basics. And really, today we're just going to be covering section one, which is doing your project setup. And it should be pretty simple. So all the lessons are right here. Let's go to lesson number one. And we are going to cover creating a new Python project, setting that up with your Python environment, and running your Hello World. So first off, required tools. You do need Python. Go ahead and download it at the link. There might be a more recent one than 3.11. Just grab whichever one that is. Once you have that, um, I'm going to use VS Code for all my stuff. Um, you might want to get Git if you want to download the project. And then Docker later on, we'll be using a bit um, just to manage our projects. All right, so let's do it. First things first, open up a terminal and go somewhere on your computer. It can really be anywhere. I like to have this source folder. And if you don't have one, you can just create a new directory called source. And we're gonna create a brand new folder called training. And let's go into that training folder. There we go, training, done. So there we go, we've navigated in. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a Python environment. And what this does is it creates a little world where all of the dependencies that we have, um, the tools that we use in our project, we wanna kind of keep them separated because we might have two different projects that use different versions. And if we just had them all installed like into one place globally, they could interact with each other and make a mess. So these virtual environments are a nice way to create a world that has like a specific Python version and specific libraries that we want to use. So that's what that's about. And the way we run it is we just say, hey, Python, call your virtual environment module. And I'm going to pass it a name that I want to name this virtual environment. And oops. Yeah, you'll get this sometimes. If you don't have Python, sometimes we have to call it Python 3. Um, but just use whichever Python you want. And it, what it's doing in the background is it's creating this virtual environment. There it is. I now have a folder called what I asked it to be, this dot v, v -E -N -V, it's dot virtual environment. Next thing we want to do is now activate the environment. And on Linux, the way we do that is we're, we're asking to kind of whatever contents are inside this file, like load them up into the environment. So we're going to do that. We're going to say source.vnv, oops, .vnv, script. What was it again? Oh, yeah, scripts. I think it's actually here. Bin activate, that's where it is. So bin activate. There we go. It's activated. And I know that it's activated because I now see this part on my terminal. Once I have it activated, I can open up my VS code right here. And it's going to create a brand new environment for me. I'm just going to pull this guy down. It's just, just, oops, there we go. There we go. So I have this empty file or empty project. I can see my folder. And I'm going to create a new folder called main.python. There we go. And it says, put this inside. This is what we got. We'll save it. There we go. Next step. Now we can run the file from our command line. So I'm going to switch back to my command line. I'm just going to type Python uh, main. And it says hello world. Voila. There we go. <laughs> so easy. Lesson one done. OK, lesson two. Next step. Uh, we want to run some tools, right? And the way that we run these tools is we're going to pull them in. And th these are two very handy tools to have. One is Flake 8. And when I install it, it's just going to go and grab and install Flake 8 um, into my virtual environment. And we're also going to do black. So let's grab black. There we go. We got black. And the way I can test that it's there is I can say black help now. There we go. And if I want to run each of these tools on that file, I just say, hey, Flake 8, go check it out. And it says, hey, you have these issues. There's some trailing white space or, or whatever. 
black is a little bit different. Instead of giving a report, it's actually going to format the file. And when I run it, there it goes. It said, I'm all done. I reformatted it. If we go back and take a look, I can't tell the difference, but it probably swapped some things out. You go compare it earlier. It probably got rid of some spaces, things like that. In fact, if we run Flake 8 again, it might be happy. Yeah, look at that. So Black took care of all the issues that we were worried about. So there you go. That's kind of getting started with Python and running some dev tools. Good luck.